Taurus, this is Soul. And Taurus, this is your week ahead, uh, August 28th through September 3rd, 2017. The messages will also be for Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising. Okay, my fellow bulls, I hope all is well. Let's get right into your messages. For some of you this upcoming week, this is a week of determination for whatever, you know, for whatever that is going to be for you with the King of Swords showing up in the upright position. So this is some sort of, you know, heavy decision making, using that sword to cut away something, uh, you know, cut away to gain some sort of clarity and um, confusion, possibly. Now, the king could represent female energies, uh, but I always get an older feel with these kings and queens when they pop up. And depending on which element shows up, uh, there's, you know, specific messages that that sword is being used to cut to the, you know, to get to possibly the bottom of something of major or as heavy major decision making that could be related to another person. The uh, king of swords, the swords in general represents um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, male or female. So it could be exchanges with those energies, but, you know, it could be exchanges with uh any zodiac sign in their energy but a week of determination cutting through something to get rid of something possibly to get to the bottom of something could be related to the truth since the page is showing up here uh the page of swords is showing up here friday going into the weekend and he's facing this way so uh in a dis i'm skipping around here Tara. so um please uh forgive me or apologize for skipping around but i'm being led to certain uh, cards to deliver your messages this upcoming week so we have two swords here we have a, a older sword and then a younger sword so usually when the page of swords so excuse me the page of swords shows up for me um it's usually in the upright position related to getting to the bottom of some sort of issue or the truth all right there's something possibly that is going on circumventing around you and then you may not be aware of you know you may not be aware of what's going on but i feel that because this page is facing the four of cups in the uh, reverse position it may be involving a love relationship whether or not it's with another air sign or a water sign four of cups is in the reverse and so um two messages coming in with the four of cups in the reverse normally when the four of cups is in the upright is all about your focus is on one particular thing. Now, that could be a relationship, but this, you know, the cups represent children uh, for me and that um, energy of Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, male or female. So but it's in the reverse. So maybe some of you have given up a focus on one particular. Um, yeah, one particular um, thing. And now you're ready to release these cups uh, with their energy to. Uh, pay attention to the other ones that were laying down in the upright position. Okay, so taking your focus off. And I like the fact that this person in the Four of Cups, if you can see it, he's actually facing the page. So when I said that there is uh, a lot of determination for you guys this upcoming week, it relates to getting to the truth of the matter, cutting through some sort of, un you know, it could be necessary or unnecessary bullshit, you know, met with uh, some sort of heavy decision. And definitely the uh, relationship aspect is coming in but this is not just a general love reading i'm just being pulled to say these things because this is what i'm seeing also too the last card that i um didn't mention and you know because i went out of sequence is, is the star card so the star card represents and it's in the reverse major Ar arcana this could be a completion of some sort of social um event that has taken place over this past weekend or the you know won't go back as far as two weeks three weeks um possibly a connection with a relationship uh since it uh, represents social media for me instagram uh online dating you know facebook a lot of interaction i'm seeing with some tauruses on the uh any um any uh Excuse me, Taurus, I got a slight headache, so I'm trying to get through this reading the best that I can. Anyway, this is a completion of some sort of social media or some sort of event that took place socially, okay? Uh, Star card represents Aquarius, so if it's online dating or, if, you know, connecting or communicating with people, it may have been with an, a direct Aquarius or some other uh, air sign. Again, we have the King of Swords here representing that energy, so there might be um 
exactly that has you know that has taken place but again I always try to stay away from uh, being direct in terms of what zodiac energy could be involved here it could be any zodiac uh in its energy all right but i do feel that there is uh and maybe that because the four of cups is following the star card that's in the reverse and someone has taken their focus off this could be a dating thing you know if you were interested in multiple people or if you know multiple people were interested in you maybe you found a connection um online okay and now you're giving up all those people who were um Either you were interested in or they were interested in you because you narrowed your focus down to one person. So that could be that uh, situation as well. So whatever happens, if it's not related to relationships, Taurus, it's a week of determination. Using that sword to get to the bottom, cut through the roots. Of, you know, I say the roots because of the trees behind them. Maybe he's trying to cut through something um, to clear a path. Once that clearing takes place, that's when you gain clarity and then all the uncertainty associated with the um, swords are cleared up. OK, so that's positive. And then, like I said before, the page, this is something new or coming in male or female energy, younger energy. So it could be if it's related to relationships, a younger Taurus with an older air sign or a younger air sign with a, a older Taurus. So one way or the other, because I have the older uh, King of Swords and then the younger Page of Swords. So there might be a situation where. Yeah, it might be a situation where there's maybe a tug and pull on uh, someone who has an interest in you and then the swords represent decision making. So maybe you're trying to. Um, figure out which one maybe there's two people of interest and then you're trying to uh, use that sword to clear up some sort of uncertainty or confusion related to a relationship now i said this is not a general love reading but it could be anything related to a, you know a family matter or you know a work situation i don't have pentacles representing that type of energy but anything is possible also i i just feel that the um overcoming some sort of emotional upset or disappointment too that could be tied into you know possibly meeting someone who didn't live up to your expectations uh if it was someone you met through social media all right that's what the cups in the reverse mean for those uh tauruses who may have dealt with that type of situation anyway but it's you know pretty much with the star card here in the ver uh, reverse position things are still being um you know, in play in terms is more powerful, though, when it's in the upright hopes, dreams and wishes do come true. And maybe because it's in the past position in the reverse that someone's expectations were let down through someone they may have met online. So that's a possibility as well. OK, I think that's all I have for you, uh, Taurus. Um, I hope it's helpful and beneficial. Don't forget to look at your moon sign and your rising signs for additional information. The cups represent children as well. So there's something something might be going on with uh, children uh, that may or may not be water signs associated or attached to uh, Taurus. OK. All right. So wishing you all a very safe upcoming week ahead, emphasizing safety. Uh, sending out a lot of love and light to you. Until I talk to you again, uh, Taurus, please be well. Bye.